the U.S. kept doing unilateral things that were really outrageous. In 2000, in, in 1999, we bombed Belgrade for 78 days. Bad move. Uh, absolutely. We bombed a capital of Europe for 78 days. What was, looking back, what was the point of that? The, the point of that was to break Serbia in two, create a new state, Kosovo, where we have the largest NATO military base in Southeast Europe. We put Bondesteel base there because we wanted a base in Southeastern Europe. And again, you look at the neocons, it's nice of them. They actually describe all of this in various documents. You have to make the links, but in a document called uh, uh, Rebuilding America's Defenses in the year 2000, they say the Balkans is a new strategic area for the U.S., so we have to move large troops to the Balkans because their idea is literally the game of risk. Not just you need good relations or peace. We need our pieces on the board. We need military bases uh, with the uh, with the uh, advanced positioning of our military everywhere in the world. So they wanted a big base in uh, in southeastern Europe. They didn't like Serbia. Serbia was close to Russia anyway. We're the sole superpower. We do what we want. So uh, they divided the country, uh, which they. Now claim you never do, and, you know, you never change borders. We broke apart Serbia, established by our declaration a new country, Kosovo. We put a huge NATO base there, and that was the goal. So that was 1999. So it wasn't to save the oppressed Muslim population? Uh, excuse me? It wasn't to save the oppressed Muslim population? Uh, it, it was uh, it, very, very much to uh, save the military-industrial complex to have a nice location in southeastern Europe. It killed all those people, wrecked the city. You know, it was a little bit uh, sad, but uh, we do lots of sad things and lots of destructive things, lots of wars. We're the country of perpetual